Hi, hello, I'm here with a new video. In this video, I will mention re emergence of tardive dyskinesia. By the way, if you are not familiar with the website, you can check this. Uh, check my website, and there are more than 2,000 articles about psychiatry, mostly relevant to schizophrenia. So, this article is about re emergence of tardive dyskinesia after discontinuation of schizophrenia close-up close up in treatment. It's one of the most commonly used uh, antipsychotic antipsychotics. So, um, because of uh, it is less likelihood of having tardive dyskinesia, extra pyramidal symptoms, and uh, it's also one of the second generation antipsychotics. Um, so, it is it continues to be a significant health problem and a serious limitation to neuroleptic medication treatment. And it may reduce the severity of TD, close-up in treatment, as I said, but it is unclear whether there's a typo here. The medication temporarily suppresses symptoms or leads to a sustained resolution of the disorder. So that's why they mention here in the title the emergence of tardive dyskinesia after discontinuation. So, these cases suggest that clozapin provides a temporary suppression of TD rather than a permanent resolution of the disorder. So they claim that it's a temporary suppression of, of it. I'm not sure it's a research article or review article. So, so here, let's check it. It's a case study. So case one, we can mention the, briefly mention the stories, 52 year old white male who was diagnosed with chronic undifferentiated schizophrenia beginning at the age of 20. He had numerous psychiatric hospitalization and um, case two, 68 year, year, year old and uh, he was diagnosed with chronic undifferentiated schizophrenia at age 26 and uh, he was treated the uh, oral haloperidol up to 30 milligram and uh, haloperidol and others. Overall, this patient was, was treated with traditional antipsychotic medications for over 20 years. So Mr. H was first documented, so we have to read the full article. <clears throat> so anyway, this is there is no conclusion here. I'm not sure what is the conclusion, but the main idea is these cases suggest that clozapine provides a temporary suppression of TD rather than a permanent resolution of the disorder. Thanks for watching this video. I wish you find this article useful and you can follow this channel and then you can, um, you can find relevant information about psychiatry, schizophrenia and other psychiatric diseases. And wish you have a beautiful day. Bye bye.